In this video, I compare the low light, high ISO performance between the Nikon Z6 and Z6 III. First, I'll describe the methodology used. Both cameras were mounted with the same copy of the Nikon 50mm f1.8 lens, shot at f8. Both cameras were mounted on a tripod with their exposures remotely released, and both were shot with lossless RAW. The range of shutter speeds start at 1 6th of the second for ISO 100, and the shutter speed was doubled for each respective ISO up to ISO 51200, which resulted at an ending shutter speed of 1600. The white balance was preset with the Lastolite gray card. The lighting was provided by a Draycast 500DN LED panel at a temperature of 5600K. All files were brought into Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop. All ACR settings were zeroed out, except for the camera neutral matching profile used. Sharpening was set to 45.735, and both chrominance and luminance noise reduction were disabled. Here I have all the raw files loaded into separate layers. The two windows you're seeing are viewports into the same raw file. I'm going to be magnifying different portions of them so we can evaluate the noise on two different parts at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead on the left hand side, I'm going to zoom in on this color panel so we can see what the noise performance looks like in the colors. Then on the right I'm going to zoom in on this shadow area so we can see what the deep shadow performance looks like. All right, the first file of each comparison is always going to be the Z63, and then I'm going to show the Z6. So here's the Z63, and there's the Z6. Z63, Z6. And I'll switch back and forth a few times. All right, no noticeable difference. Here's ISO 200, Z63, Z6. Still not seeing any differences. Here's ISO 400. All right, still no differences. Here's ISO 800. You can see a little bit noise showing up now. And to my eye, they look pretty much identical, even down to the deep shadows. Right, here's ISO 1600, more noise still. Here we can start to see just slightly more noise on the Z63 in the deep shadows. But the color panels, the brighter exposed areas seem to be identical still. Here's ISO 3200. Again, there's slight differences, but hardly noticeable between these two. Z63 exhibiting slightly more noise than the Z6, in the deep shadows at least. Here's ISO 6400. Here the noise difference is starting to become more noticeable. Here's ISO 12800. Now here's the first ISO where the noise difference is definitely noticeable without even having to look carefully. Particularly in the deep shadows here you can see there's a noticeably more noise on the Z63 image. On the color patches which are receiving more light, uh, the noise difference is still barely noticeable. I'd call it pretty much a wash between the two. All right, now let's step to ISO 25600. Here the deep shadows are starting to get very noisy. That's the Z63, and there's the Z6. And again, a significant difference now in noise in the deep shadows between the two cameras. Color panels are starting to show more noise on the Z63, but again, it's, it's pretty close, maybe in a darker, patches like the brown patch, but otherwise they're still pretty close. So it re really looks like the, the difference between the two cameras is, is in the deep shadows. So let's go to the final ISO, 51200, where the deep shadows are kind of a mess on both cameras, but still the Z6 has much lower noise than the Z63. And here on the color patches you can definitely see less noise on the Z6 
than the Z6 III. So if I uh, zoom around to different parts of the image, so let's I have a, a chart set up here so we can see if there's any difference in detail. This would indicate, for instance, any raw-based noise reduction. If there were, then some of the details should be smudged on one of the one of the images versus the other. But if you can see here, the detail looks pretty much identical. Net of the noise differences. So this is the Z63, Z6. And uh, there's not much else really to see within the image. There's a couple more color patches here. Again, Z63, significantly more noticeable even within the color patches at this highest ISO 51200. So if we had to go back and summarize to figure out which ISO you're really going to start to see the differences, uh, at least in the deep shadows, I'm not really seeing the 3200. 6400, you're you're starting to notice it barely. 12,800, you're, you're definitely noticing it. So there's where I'd, I'd say where the cameras are, are departing in noise performance. And then, of course, that increases more as the ISO goes up from there. Again, this is what the full scene looks like. You're not going to see differences in noise with the within the renditions of the full scene, just because it's a downsampled view. Like even at this highest ISO, maybe see a little bit of tinting difference, but otherwise you're just not going to see a difference at that level of detail.